Hello guys, in our last lesson we saw how we could create our first script and we made that script display our name. So let's go ahead and see how we can expose the properties or parameters of a script such that we can customize it. So right now if we go ahead and look at our script, we have a string saying your name and we assign that to a variable, a string called Peter Steven and then it tells us hello your name is Peter Steven. So how do we expose this parameter? Well you do that using the keyword public. All right, right there. So whenever we use a, let me just zoom in, whenever we use a public uh, keyword, it's going to allow this property, this variable to be exposed within Unity. So let's go ahead and save that and jump back to Unity and see what we've done right here. Now remember, we've attached this script to our main camera. So to actually see this, we have to click on our main camera and just get back here and click on our main camera and right here we can actually see your name showing us that property that contains an input box so right now i can go ahead and change any name and you can follow along and use your own name so i'll just type in mahmoud schweib or any name so we'll just go ahead and save that so go to file and click save so now that we've saved that, let's go ahead and run this again. So by running this, if we actually go ahead and click on our console, we can now see that that new information says your name is Mahmoud Shawaib, right? So you can actually change everything and to actually make the, this much more interesting and proper, we should change this to say, uh, hello. And let's see, my name is and then we pass in that information just to make this uh, tense look uh, much more accurate. So basically that's how you can expose a property of a script and generally you can do this for everything else in Unity. So when you create a variable like we're going to see in our future lessons, we can expose those properties by actually making them public. So thank you very much for watching guys. In our next lesson, we're going to see how we can begin manipulating game objects and making our examples interesting. So, but before we are actually quit, let's go ahead and save our scene, right? So in our scenes folder, let's go to file and let's go to save as, and let's double click our scenes folder so we can actually begin saving our project scenes. So we're going to call our project underscore zero one underscore begin and just like that we've saved our scene and once you have your scene you can always open up your scene and you notice we are on zero one begin you can click on our camera and then zoom in and look at our scene thank you very much for watching guys in our next lesson we're going to move on and learn more about unity c-sharp scripting